Hallelujah. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening everybody. Thank you for joining in on the last night. Amen. This is the last night on tonight. Yes, I know Lord. we started kind of late, but God had to be glorified. That's right. That's right. That's had right. to give him back his glory. Yeah, we are right. right. Hallelujah. Amen. God has really been showing himself these last two nights. Yes. Hallelujah. We had the surgical tech to break up the fallow ground on yes. Wednesday night. Yes. Thursday night as he as he prepared the ground for the surgeon to come in and rip us apart. Yes. Sew us back up. <laughs> now we're going to have the man of God to bring us to the therapy, the occupational therapist, the yes. physical therapist. Yes, Lord. To show us how to remain, remain delivered and set free. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just give God the glory, the honor, and the thanks on tonight what he has done. Yes. Hallelujah. He, like I said, he's really, God really showed out. And I just thank and praise him for allowing me to be the visionary uh, of this gathering yes. of the prophets. Yes, because this region really need a prophetic wake-up call. Come on. Um, the, the territorial demons was running rampant, but we made sure we came in and subdued every last one. Hallelujah. Time. Hallelujah. You got to understand when God gives you a vision, he's giving you the territory yeah. to subdue it. You got to know your power and your authority yes, when you get into these different realms and dimensions and uh, different areas that he's sending you all to. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. To, to birth out visions. Yes, Lord. Glory be unto God. Well, since we've already... <laughs> Since we've already, <laughs> we're ready for recovery. We're ready, on, we're ready for the ex show, him, show us how to exercise these Come muscles. On, so I'm not going to hold the man of God any longer. We don't, like I said, we don't suppress the Holy Spirit. Y'all yes. know who he is. My, my little brother. Right. Big brother in Christ. <laughs> the one and only, the honorable prophet, apostle, hey, Isaac hey. Rose. Hey. Get to your feet. Put your hands together and give the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, you can do that now. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a good praise. Yes. The Lord is indeed worthy yes. to be praised. Can we bless God in the presence of our vision here? Come on. Hallelujah. For the apostle. Come on. Hallelujah. While you're clapping, we cannot forget the head of our household. Come on, clap your hands. For my friend and brother, the apostle. So it's Ross. Yes. The prophet is here to love and daddy. Everybody, that way you don't leave <laughs> nobody yeah. out. Uh, Acts chapter 3. Yes, come on now, Acts chapter 3. That's where I want to go tonight, Acts chapter 3. Come on. Work the text, prophet. Verse number 1 throughout 9. Ah. Acts chapter 3. Yes, verse number 1 throughout 9. I have one assignment tonight. I'm going to help you do that, and we're going to get out of here. Acts the third chapter. Yes. I want to look at verse number 1 throughout 9. It is your custom to stand. God, I ask that you stand in honor of the word of God. Amen. Acts the third chapter, verse number one throughout nine. If you have you hear these words. Now Peter and John went up into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man was lame up from his mother's womb, was carried whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful, to ask arms of them that entered into the temple who seen Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked in arms, and Peter fastened his eyes upon him with John, said, look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, silver and gold have I none, yes. but such as I have given I thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Verse 7, and he took him by the right hand and lifted him up, and immediately somebody shot immediately. immediately. His feet and ankle bones received strength. He was verse 8 here and he leaping up and walked and entered with them into the temple walking and leaping and praising God. Verse 9 and all the people saw him walking and praising God. I just want to read verse 10. And they knew that it was he which sat for arms at the beautiful gate of the temple, and they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. Yes. 
Thank you. You may be seated. On this final night of this prophetic clarion call, simply want to take this text tonight. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Yes. Lord, have your way to hey! your instrument play me in any key that you desire. God, use me up until you're satisfied. Yes. God, when you get done using me, I won't take the credit, nor will I take the praise. But God, I give you all the glory and all the honor yes. in Jesus' name. Yes. Somebody yes. shout amen. amen. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My God. All of us in this room have been introduced as something. Uh, let's go back. Before you got saved, okay. you were introduced as something. Oh. Uh, don't look at me like oh. that. You were introduced as the alcoholic. Oh. You were introduced as the stripper. You were introduced yeah. as the pimp. Come on here. You were introduced as the whoremonger. You were introduced yeah. as the woman that stole somebody else's man. Oh. Or you were introduced as the man that stole somebody else's woman. Uh -huh. But tonight, God said uh -huh. this is the time and the season that you need to reintroduce yourself. Don't get it twisted because the truth of the matter is this. We've been in here these last two nights uh, and we've been getting instructions about the rain coming and about how we ought to keep. But if the truth uh, of the matter really be told, you cannot get the rain and you cannot get the leap uh, until you are properly positioned. Oh. My assignment tonight is to be the prophetic uh, spiritual th uh, therapist and so physical therapist. And so tonight, I really want to strengthen your legs and your hey. ankle bones because the truth of the matter is this that many of you all have been walking and you have not been stretched. I'm talking to somebody tonight because you have been walking and it's like every time you try to move forward, your legs seem like they want to give out. And God is saying tonight, in order for you watch this to reintroduce yourself, you have to be stretched. And I know I'm not the only one tonight, but you can be honest and testify that sometimes stretching don't feel good. Okay, let me talk to some real people in here tonight. You know how when you go to the chiropractor and your neck and your back is giving you pain and they have to stretch it or they have to pop it or even, uh, 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 God, I forgot your name. Juliet, they have to position you the right way. And if the truth of the matter really be told, you think you're going in one way, but really, you say, well, I can position myself for the chiropractor. What you think, God, help me here. What you think is the proper position position. It's not even the proper position. Why? Because you're not licensed to position yourself to be stretched. And God is saying to somebody in here tonight, you need to stop licensing yourself to be the stretch or to be the position. And God is saying tonight, let me position you for the stretch. I know it don't feel good. I know it seems like God every time I come out of one thing, I'm going right back into another. It seems like Lord, whenever I get one witch off of my tree, Will come another one, Lord. Whenever I get one warlock off of my trail, will come another one, Lord. Whenever I get one family member delivered, will come the enemy attacking another way. But I need to talk to somebody tonight in order for you to be the God. Help me here tonight. In order for you to get yourself in position, you've got to learn how to let go and move on. Watch this tonight because break it down, prophet. Many of us, Apostle Taurus. We want to be a part of the remnant, but we don't want to be rejected. Oh, Come here. Let, let, let me help you because I told you, allow me to reintroduce myself. It's going to make sense in the next 45 minutes because the truth of the matter is this. Many of us, we're trying to reintroduce ourselves by our own titles. And God is saying the title that you're putting on yourself is not who I called you to be. And that's why you have unnecessary welfare. That's why you have illegal dreams. That's God help me here. That's why you deal with nothing. That's why look, I might as well go ahead and say it since I'm there now. That's why you deal with the spirit of perversion because you put all of these titles on yourself and you're not even able to get your own self delivered. But yet you want to help somebody else get delivered. Here is the truth of the matter tonight. God is saying, I need you.
you become your own self to deliver you ain't got time Lord, I might as well say it here tonight. Uh, some of you all are going to therapists and trying to get help. Uh, and God is saying, let the altar be your therapist. Let me help you tonight. God is saying, I'm not against therapists, but sometimes you need the altar to be your therapist. Uh, Lord, I can't talk to mama. I can't talk to daddy. But Lord, it's me. I need to talk to you. Lord, I ain't the prophet. I ain't the apostle. But Lord, it's leader coming before you. It's Kia coming before you. It's Thomas coming before you. Say, Lord, I'm a mess. Fix me up. Sit down. Well, Sit down. Uh -huh. oh. well. <laughs> I had to work this text. I'm no. I'm and, I, and that's chapter 3. The text says that there was a certain man. He, he, he did not have a name, Apostle Taurus, but he had a condition. Oh. I need to talk to somebody here tonight that you got a name, but, but you also have a condition. And I need to talk to you tonight that this is the season that God said tonight, I'm breaking the condition off of you. Yeah. I will get to the physical part in a minute, but God is saying tonight, the reason why you cannot grow, the reason why you cannot blossom is because you are allowing things that don't belong to you to attach themselves to you. In order for you to grow in God, you got to say, Lord, take away what don't matter to me. Take away what's hindering me because if the truth be told everything at the devil some stuff is your decisions and it keep causing you to go in cycles oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. allow me my God. to reintroduce myself watch this because text says in Acts chapter 3 verse number 2 and there was a certain man named from mother's womb he was carried uh -huh. whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful. You are I'm going to help some of y'all in here tonight. He was in an ugly situation, but at a beautiful place. Whoa. Whoa. Preach, boy. He was in an ugly situation, but he was in a beautiful place. He went daily to church, and it amazes me how a man with a condition knew where his help was. But those of us who got able legs, able body, able hands, will not even come to church and sit for an hour. But it was this man who was laid, who said, listen, carry me to church. Carry me where healing is. Carry me where the
for what's not theirs. Oh, my God. Preach Holy Ghost. Break it down, Holy Ghost. You got a lot of people that are settling for disabilities that's not even theirs. That's it. Come on, come on. I know your back giving you trouble. I know you got arthritis. I know you got all that. But you ain't got to settle for that. Why? Because it's not yours. Since we're in Passion Week, let me say it this way. He was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, and the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. Stop saying you sick. Well, it's not yours. Allow me to reintroduce myself. There you go. It ain't mine. It ain't somebody else to do it. Do I got time to work this test? Yeah, 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 work it out. What's this? Do I got time to work this test? What's this? You in Alabama. What's this? You in Alabama. What's this? Because the man was literally carried uh -huh. to the gate of the temple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about What's it. What's this? He did not get in the door, but he got to the entrance. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. 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 I got that. I caught it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did not get into the place. Uh, yeah. oh, but he endured the process. Preach on the go. I need to talk to somebody okay. in here tonight. And you can be honest and testify. So that every time I try to get in the door, somebody always dismissing me. But let me help you with that. In the midst of dismissal, you still got to be determined. Now, I don't care who it is, whether it's mama, daddy, sister, brother, cousin, 18. You still got to be determined. If the missionary Baptist church, they said it like this. Uh, if the Lord needs somebody, here am I. Send me, I'll go. I don't care if you don't want to go. Lord, I will go. The text says, Work that text, brother. And he was lame from his mother's womb. Yes, sir. And he was carried. Here's where I really want to get to tonight. Apostle. He was in his mama's womb. Come on. But he was lame. Uh, 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 how was he able to be diagnosed from his mother's womb? Come on. Help us she, out. Help us out. Can I help y'all tonight? Be careful when you let these doctors diagnose you when you're pregnant with something because you will begin to accept the diagnosis and then what you give birth to will begin to be a God help me will begin to be an example of what you've been diagnosed with. Tell your neighbor to let my diagnosis is not my identity. Come on, talk to me, true. Tell somebody else my diagnosis is not my identity. Yeah, you may say I got arthritis. You may say I got high blood pressure. That's what you say. But his words say I am healed and I am whole. Is there anybody in here tonight? You can lift your hands and testify that it's not who I am. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Watch. Hallelujah. He was lame from his mother's womb. He was he was carried. The uh, Bible did yeah, not yeah, say yeah, who yeah. carried. Uh -huh. But all the text says was that he was carried to the gate of the temple. Now, my, my, my. here it is, Apostle Torres. Uh -huh. He went there for one thing. Uh -huh. But ended up getting something else. Uh -huh. Apostle Nina, he thought he could buy a miracle. Wow. Wow. Can I bring it to the modern day times? Wow. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. You know, I, I, I feel some creeping up on me. So let me go and say it this way. You know how these prophets manipulate you to try to buy a miracle, manipulate you to try to, oh God, sow your way into something. And I'm not against sowing seed. God knows I believe in sowing seed. But if you're not sowing into fertile ground, if you're not sowing to where you see results, and let me help you with something. That's why you'll continue to stay bound, broke, and busted. Because while you're sowing into folks where God has not called you and or anointed you to sow. So watch this. Hmm. Come on. My God. Text says he went there looking for money. Uh-huh. And Bible said these two men by the name of Peter and John. Oh. They were, he thought Peter and John had some money. Mm -hmm. They didn't have the money but they had the master. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't miss it. They didn't have the money, but they had the master. Yes, sir. Uh, it. Yes, sir. 
you come. And, and, and watch this. You got to be careful when you drop off somewhere and people don't have what you need. But watch this. You're in the place to receive. I came here tonight to encourage somebody. You better make sure you dropped off in the right spot. I need to talk to some secrets in here tonight. I need to talk to some folk in here tonight. You can be honest and testify. I ain't came for a prophecy because I am the prophecy. I didn't come to lay nobody out. I didn't came to get laid out because I can let myself out anytime. But I came to encourage you. Not to be Lord have mercy here tonight. I came to encourage somebody here tonight. It's in the seat. It's in the seat. It ain't in God. Help me here. It's in the seat and it's in the sound. What are you producing in your seat? What sound are you producing? This man was looking for money, but Peter and John had the solution and the sound. Here it is. Mark on your fear. It's in the sea. Here it is, You wanna finish? It's so so so. Strangers came with a solution and a sign. Whoa. Let me give it to you another way. Destiny helpers came with a solution and a sign. Oh, this is going to go over some of y'all heads. They didn't have on the collar, the cross, or nothing else, but all they had was the word. Because you not got a lot of folk now wearing crosses, collars, and cassocks, and ain't got no word. But Peter and Johnson, listen, I'm going to come in my room of jeans. I'm going to come in my chucks. I'm going to come in my t-shirt. And guess what? I'm going to give you what you need. Peter, Peter and John, listen, they were getting ready to go into the temple, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Here it is. They were going for prayer. Ha! 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 They were going I know where you're going. I know where you're going with this. But they also had in them a prophecy. Woo! Come on, come on. Hey! Yes, sir. <laughs> Watch out for folk that ignore you based on your posture. My Woo. God. My Woo. God. Right. Close up. Close up. Close up. My posture may not say help, but guess what? I'm seeking for it. Come on. Hey. Guess what? You got a lot of folk that are standing and they need help. Somebody else's opinion. Oh, oh. There it is. Your opinion is not going to change my posture. That's it. That's it. Preach on the go. Your opinion is not going to change my posture or his promise from my life. You may think I don't need it, but the promises in him are yes and amen. One thing I do. Everybody can't answer the clarion call. Whoa, whoa! You call it. Everybody oh, ought to be calling. Everybody, oh, everybody oh. can't answer the clarion call, and here's why. Apostle oh, Torres, because why? Everybody is not assigned to the call. Can I help somebody in here tonight? Since we are a part of the remnant, you got something. God hit me here because you are their favorite. Oh God, can I go ahead and say it tonight? You got a lot of folk that were coming just because of the applause and the audience. But God said tonight, I had to do a separation so I can put the folks in the birthing room. You got a lot of folk that want to ignore the birthing room and go straight to the recovery room. But God said tonight, I had to send you through the three stages of birthing. You better preach. I'm trying to do the best I can. Uh -huh. so, Whatever you do, do it. Somebody do your show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah,
when you get ready to birth the baby, yes, sir. the doctors tell you it's best that you walk the baby back. Yes, that's it. I'm trying to help somebody here tonight. And so many of you, the reason why you keep miscarrying is because you keep letting everybody lay hands on the thing that God has put on the inside of you. Everybody can't lay hands on what you carry. Everybody can't give words on what you carry. So let me go ahead and say what I need to say. I don't know where I just came from because you know I don't say that. Watch this. So being God's apostle, you can't let everybody pour into your ear because you can't watch everything. You can't watch everybody Facebook live. I'm coming tonight. You can't soak into everybody because half of these crowds are perverted. The leaders are perverted and the platforms are perverted. And so now you have made an allegiance to a perverted platform. So allow me. Uh, allow me to reintroduce myself. Hey, so, what's this? What's this apostle? The man did not have a name, but he had a condition. Uh huh. Don't miss the shout of the text. Yes, sir. Because what happens is, right? They kept looking at. Can you imagine how many people kept walking past this man? Uh huh. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, ah. Uh, he didn't look like church. He didn't look like your holy convocation. He didn't look like your pastor's anniversary. He didn't look like your deacon boy. But he looked like what God called him to be. Because if the truth be told, if truth, my God, I finish my yeah, yeah. If the truth be told, we keep overlooking the ones who we think God has not called. But the truth of the matter is this according to Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Deliver me from folk that. Oh, okay, I may get in trouble, but I need to say it. Deliver me from folk that want you to go through all of this religious stuff to prove that you're a prophet. Baby, I ain't got to prove to you that I'm a prophet. I has called me to be and since I know who God called me to be every time I open my mouth what he said go hey. to the past you need more hey. Bible to back it up and the chapter 3 verse 7 surely the Lord God will do nothing unless we have a secret to his servant the prophet judge a prophet. You do have the ability to judge prophecy. But don't miss what I'm saying to you. You do not have to sit and let somebody tell you what God has called you to be. Deliver me from that religious foolishness. You saying I'm an evangelist but God said I'm a prophet. Why do I have to keep limiting myself to your religious ideology? The devil and you are alive. The Bible declares who God called. He qualified. So watch this. Truth of the matter is this. Many times we get so caught up in the crowd that we forget the cloud. Oh. Just touch your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, neighbor, I'm in it for the cloud. I'm in it for the cloud. So watch this. Exodus chapter 33 says this. Lord, I beseech thee. Hey! Show me your glory. Yeah. Uh-huh. Show me your glory. Glory is not in numbers, but it's in expectation. Woo! Woo! Glory is not in the crowd, woman of God, but it's in expectation. I'd rather preach to this crowd of people that are hungry than preach to a mega church when you got to battle through demons on top. Okay, I ain't scared of nobody. Demons on top of demons on top of demons. Can I help you with a night? Let's go back to Acts chapter 2. Because the Bible declared this that they gather in the saints' house and the Holy Ghost fell. Can I tell you, we're getting ready to go back to the day and hour now where the church is all about to be shut down and we're going to have to go back to gathering at houses to where God damn push out. To where he are there because to where his glory really is. Yes, sir. Hey, 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 brother, we, we, we get ready to go back. Come on. Hey, 
Y'all think the pandemic? Y'all think the pandemic showed y'all something? Come nah, that there's something coming worse than the pandemic, and it's gonna really expose the heart of these leaders and the heart of these Ooh. churches. I might as well go be God's apostle. Right. It's getting ready to expose who God. See, you, you know me. I've been in prayer, so God really been hijacking me. So it's really getting ready to expose the heart of these perverted leaders, these perverted preservation leaders. Oh, I'm coming after the preservation leaders tonight because of the two other men who really be told you're singing perverted, you're pushing folk into the holies of holies perverted. That's why you can't experience a real move of God because your hands ain't only perverted, but your mouth. So God, so God said tonight. So God said tonight, I came to sanctify the mouth of the servants. Oh, oh it's in the text. You think I'm just talking to be talking? I got Bible. Bible. The Bible says this in Acts chapter three, verse number six. Then Peter said, "Silver, gold have I none, but such as I have." If I be in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Watch this. If Peter's mouth wasn't purified, mm. he would not have been able to help the man get the miracle. Ma. Ah. Ah. Come on. Ah. The reason why you ain't seeing deliverance is because your mouth ain't purified. Come Woo. On. Come on. What's in your mouth? Oh. Oh. Hey. 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 Oh. What have you been eating? Eat it. This is what you gotta eat the word. What have you been eating because if the truth be told, you got a lot of folk that are ready, they're shifting from milk to meat, but yet the leaders are still drinking milk. That's why you ain't got to help the church. It's because your leader ain't healthy. And when your leader ain't healthy, the people won't be healthy. You know what I'm saying? I'm right here tonight. What are you producing? God help me. What are you producing? What are you allowing in your spirit? Come on, honey. Come on. So the Lord said tonight, I need my people yes, to go on a spiritual diet. Oh my God. Yes, God. Mm. What I say? Come on. Pass my phone. I got to go to my phone. What because, because if the truth be told, you got a lot of us, we are ignoring the spiritual diet. Come on. That's it. And so, watch this. The truth be told, there are some things that can hinder your recovery. Yeah. Whoa. Jesus, uh-huh. Come on. There are some things that can hinder your recovery. Yeah. Can I tell you what they are? Yeah. Well, number one, you can do too much too soon. I know. I know. I know. You, you, you stay in bed too much. You don't take your medicine as prescribed, but then you don't get enough food or drink. And watch this. Pastor Nina, when you go to the doctor, uh -huh. they tell you what you can yes, and cannot take. That's right. yes, yes, yes. But us color folk, we do what we want to do, yes. when we want to do, because we feel like we have recovered. And God is saying tonight, the reason why you keep ending up in the position that you're in is because you think you're strong enough to do it. And God said, no, that's why I keep breaking your will. That's why I keep breaking your heart. That's why I keep breaking your emotions, because you're not doing what I told you to do. So watch this. Come on. That's the natural, right? Mm -hmm. Let me give you the spiritual. Mm -hmm. There are some spiritual things that can hinder our recovery. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Ask me what are they? What are they? I'm glad you asked them one. Your lack of fasting. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Your lack of fasting. Yes, Lord. Your infrequent praying. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my yes. God. Your absence of worship. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. And your disobedience. Can I, can, can, can I hang out right there? Hang out right there. Be, be, because what I love about apostle and apostle, what happens is when they have these gatherings, they don't have the tradition of praise and worship. Yeah. Uh, come on. Uh -huh. yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. Oh, you missed it. Because you think, oh God, you think when somebody up here singing, that's praise and worship. No. It's not. Sometimes that's just performance because they are high <laughs> Oh. oh, you think? Oh, you think we only got hiding preachers? No, we got hiding praise and worship leaders. We got hiding musicians, and so God is. That's why you couldn't get no musician in here. It's because God wants to show us what is your worship like without the music. Yes, God. That's it. Yeah, go what is your worship like without the music? Mm. And so here, here it is. What's this? Mm. When I was in my room, I literally, God literally. 
bad destruction. Come in. Yes, sir. Don't miss it. God will stretch you in private before you come out here and preach to the public. Whoa. I Watch out for folk who want to give you these wonderful words and ain't been processed. I know. Ain't been processed. So here it is, right? Peter and John have gone to the temple. What's this? And so he took him by the right hand, lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That went over some of y'all. All right, all right. Peter and John went together. Yes. But Peter had the power in his mouth. Woo! Woo! My God. Speak. Come on through here, Peter. Stop dismissing folk that don't look like you, but yet they are anointed by God. Yes, Lord. That's Woo. it. That's it. Can I help you tonight? Come on. It's so true. You, you think because they got on a black robe and a gold cross that they are anointed. My Lord. Talk about it. All that don't mean nothing if your heart dirty. That's Woo. it. That's it. My God. Peter said, Apostle Ross said this, in the name of of oh, Jesus of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Watch this, right? Uh, Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Because in verse 5, and he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something. Okay. Mm -hmm. He was expecting to receive money. Mm -hmm. But he ended up receiving a mandate. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh, my Whoa. God. Can I help the church tonight? Yeah. 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 Come on. God is shifting. The mandate and the mantle in this season for those that have been hidden. Can I help you tonight? Ooh. This is the season where the prophets are coming out of the cave. You thought this clarion call was just by coincidence, Apostle Nina, yeah. that it happened in March. God said the reason why it happened in March is because it was about the mandate and the mission. Ooh. And the Lord said, tell somebody in here tonight. He said, I'm shifting your mandate and your mission. You thought it was for yourself, but no. It was for your husband. husband. It was for... Your know what? It was for the individuals that you thought that you thought God help me here. That you thought God had forgot about. So God said tonight, He came, He said, I came to deliver the bloodline, y'all. And said I'm not here tonight. You think that it's for you, but no, it ain't for you. He said, I came to I feel like preaching. He said, I came to deliver the bloodline. The bloodline. Deliver the bloodline. If I if I had enough time, Ooh, cool. oh, time if, if, if I had enough time, I'd deal with the enemy in the blood. Come on, man. Oh. Come on, man. Oh. That, that's, that's if I had enough time. You got two hours. Come on. Oh, thank you. I, I, I deal with I, I deal with the enemy in the bloodline. Because it's right there in the text. He was lame from his mother's womb. Oh. From his mother's womb. The enemy in the bloodline. It's so real because it's yes, in the blood. Yes, but if you don't take the authority and break it yourself, what you thought you were delivered from, it'll creep back up a whole nother way. Yes, it's right. Yes, it will. It's right. So he said, <laughs> My God. And he took him by the right hand, lifted them up, and immediately his anchor bones, his his anchor bones, his feet and anchor bones received strength. Watch this, right? Uh -huh. When his posture changed, that's when his power changed. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. When his posture changed, yes, yes. that's when his power changed. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What you saying, prophet? Oh, what am I saying? Uh -huh. A lot of you want more power, but you don't want to change your posture. Whoa! Whoa! Give me a chair. Thank you. A lot of you. Want more power 
And so you just sit in the same posture, in the same position. But God is saying, what is this posture? What are you going to receive? I came from old school to where we literally had to get down on our knees. And we literally had to call on the God of power. And God is saying tonight, I need you to get back down on your face. Get back down to the basics and begin to seek me. The Bible declared, earlier will I seek you. Yeah, yeah. That's the problem. A lot of you all want to sleep through God calling you. Yeah, 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 yeah. My God. Oh, get up. Get My up. God. Ah. When was the last time that you said, Lord, mm. here I am? Oh, my Lord. Jesus. My Lord. You want the house. You want the car. Uh -huh. You want the money. But you don't want to change your posture. Come on. Oh. My Lord. Come on. You're not willing to change your posture. Watch this. Can I help you out tonight? Yeah. Yeah. We want what's in the hand of God, mm -hmm. but we don't want the heart of God. We want the hand of God, Come on. but we don't want the heart of God. Come on. Because the heart of God says repent. Yes, ah, 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 ah. The heart you of gotta God say that. Mm. Come on. Woo. The heart of God says divorce the person that's keeping you hindered from going to your next level. Woo. The, 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 the heart of God says he don't want deliverance so why do you keep sleeping with him so the heart of God says guess what if you want the blessing get rid of the hindrance that's in your house and then the truth of the God I feel something here if the truth of the matter really be told everything ain't the devil some stuff is just your decision Some stuff is just your decision. Yes, yes, yes. That's it. Yes. Because why? You keep choosing to settle. Yeah, that's right. You ain't got to settle. My God. Because get what? And you're settling, you are silencing the mouth of God for your situation. My God. If this man in Acts chapter 3 would have settled for his condition, he would have missed Peter and John. Woo! That's a word, Jesus. prophet. Can, can I help you out tonight? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Truth be told, Apostle Nina, watch this. All of this this week, God is saying, what have you done to maintain your posture? Oh. Uh, My God. Come on. We've got told about the rain. Uh -huh. yeah. We've got told about the leap. Mm -hmm. But what have you done to maintain that posture? Yes, God. Lay into the high prophet. Is this just another gathering? Uh huh. Mm. That's right. Because for some, it was just a vacation. Uh oh. But for those that have really caught on to the sound, yes. it was really a revival. Yes. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Everybody couldn't come to the clarity and call because their ear was not to the mouth of God. Oh. And if the truth of the mouth, God, I feel something here tonight. And if the truth of the matter really be told, a lot of people did not come because they were not on the platform or the flyer. And so watch this. The truth of the matter is this. That's why God is using you to bring up the no names. It's simply because, Apostle Nina, those are the ones that God allow you to bring up. They're not hungry for a platform, that, but they really want God's power. And if the truth of the matter really be told, you got a lot of platform jumpers. I ain't scared of nobody. We got a lot of platform churches who are seeking positions and microphones and don't have the mantle of God. When was the last time that you told God to check your mantle? Y'all ain't saying nothing. We got a lot of folk out here preaching with a dead man's mantle. I ain't scared of nobody. You got a lot of folk preaching with G.E. Patterson's mantle and he dead. You got a lot of folk out here preaching with Esther LaVoy's mantle and she dead. When was the last time that you got your own mantle? Oh, he asked for his own and 
an increase. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 y'all ain't gonna like me tonight. Yeah. We yeah. asked for God's matter, no way in the text. And we asked for Elijah's matter because that would have been illegal. And that's the problem now. You got a lot of folks asking for illegal things and they're not even ready to receive. So Elijah said, listen, you asked for a hard thing, but if you stand here while I'm taken up and you catch a hold to what I'm dropping, I double push up to the higher. I double my katiyanda. A double portion of my anointing will fall on you. When was the last time that you said God position me for something new? Whoa. You really bother me sitting like this, so can you come up here? <laughs> because that's been your hiding spot for too long, so God said, now I need to reveal you so I can really heal you and show you who you are for this next season. All right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So watch this. Change your posture. He said, yeah. That's your comfortable spot. So God said, now I need to change your posture so I can give you what it is that you've been desiring for me in prayer. Elijah, Elijah said, hey, hey, if you stand here while I'm taking a portion of my will follow. Here it is. Yes, Lord. Elijah yes, Lord. did not ignore the instructions of the prophet. Yeah. Come on. If, can I say this for free? Every prophet needs a prophet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, can I say this? I'm making in trouble, Jesus ha, Christ. Ha, ha. Stop assigning yourself to be people's prophet, right. and you can't even get your own self delivered. Whoa. How can you hear God for everybody else, and you can't even hear God for yourself? How can you tell God? How can you say God told you about somebody else's next, and you can't even handle your right now? How is it that you can tell somebody else what the Lord said about their destiny, and you sit here find your own demons and your destiny? But if the truth of the matter, when I told you my subject was allow me to reintroduce myself, so can I reintroduce myself? Myself. Let me help you with something here tonight. I was born Isaac, but guess what? I'm a die prophet. Can I say it this way? I was born a prophet, I'm a liver prophet, and I'm a die prophet. Now everybody on social media want to be a prophet. But what do you do when social media is getting ready to shut down? What do you do when your influence is attacked and you no longer have your identity? They're going to have a heart attack. Right. Ooh, Jesus. Just watch this. Right. A lot of people's influence. Is based on social media. Uh-huh. That's it. But what do you do when your influence and your identity is attacked? Oh. What do you do? The man in Acts chapter 3. Uh-huh. He had an issue. Yeah. But here's the thing. He did not allow his issue to keep him isolated. That's it. Mm. Don't my miss it. God, my God. My Don't miss God. it. Because a lot of us have identity crisis and we isolate ourselves. That's right, my Lord. It's God. Mm. Yep, the church. People's opinion does not determine God's outlook on your life. That's right, my Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, allow Hallelujah. Me, allow me, if you will, to reintroduce myself. Mm. This man in Acts chapter 3, Pastor Torres. He was considered a lame man. Mm-hmm. Consider. I got I caught that one. But here it is. <laughs> At the ending of verse number, watch this, verse number nine, and all the people saw him walking in praise of God, and they knew that it was he. Mm-hmm. If y'all ain't ripped out your Bible, he said, <laughs> and they knew that it was he sat and asked for money at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. Mm-hmm. My God. Can I drop this on y'all for those of y'all that are listening? Drop, drop, drop. Your survival is about to leave your enemies amazed. Oh. Oh. My God. My God. Are you listening to me? 
Your survival is about to leave your enemies amazed because they counted you out in the process. But touch your neighbor, God, I'm trying not to get out my sneakers, but touch your neighbor, tell them, neighbor, I survived the process. I survived the process. So touch somebody else and tell them, I survived the process. I survived the process. Come on, don't touch somebody. Touch somebody else and tell them, I survived the process. I survived the process. And so since I survived the process, my name tag changes. Yeah. Wow. You know how when you go to Alcohol Anonymous meeting or AA meeting, you begin to introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Kia Dowdy, and I struggle with this. Or hello, my name is Nina Ross, and I struggle with this. Or hello, my name is Torres Ross, and I struggle with this. But guess what? That's not who I am. That's just my struggle. Because at the end of the day, my name is still Isaac Grove. Your name is still Nina Ross. Your name is still Kia Dowdy. Your name is still Torres Ross. Your name is still Juliet. But here it is. What is your name? What is your name? Oh what is your name? <laughs> my God. Come on. What, what identity are you taking on? Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Because truth be told, a lot of us are not taking on the identity of God. That's right. But we're taking on the identity of the bishop. Oh. And the apostles. The apostle. Come on. Say it. The apostle. Say it. The reverend. The oh, the, the oh, missionary oh, Baptist, you know, with the, 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 I don't, the, I don't the, wait, I, yeah, yeah. The, 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 taking on the identity yeah, of everybody, yeah, yeah. but yet we're not taking on the identity of God. That's right. Can I tell you what the identity of God is? Tell us. First Peter chapter two verse nine. For you are chosen generation, of all priests and the holy nation, and peculiar people. That's yeah. Right. Peculiar. Prophets are very peculiar. Yes. Yes. Very. Yes. Extra weird. Really. That, 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 that's why. You don't find prophets hanging around a group of people. Sure don't. No. Nope. Because why? We can discern the room. That's right. Ooh. We can discern when you don't like us. Yeah. We can discern when you got your Ouija board out. Y'all ain't saying nothing. <laughs> we can discern your terrible cards. We can discern when you go to the psychic or when you want to treat us like, okay, I, mm, God. You want to treat us like one of them look, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. You want to treat us like what you're familiar with, but God is saying tonight, with the real prophets, please uh, stand up with the with the war. Okay, help, let me help you. Just because you heard God one time, that don't make you a prophet. Just because you had two little dreams, uh, maybe you want to be an international prophet. The devil and your mama is alive. Repent and get your identity back. How is it that you heard God calling you the pastor, but you ain't heard Him calling you the prayer? Yeah. Oh. a prophet and don't pray. Come on. Okay. My God. How can you talk for somebody that watch this. How can you talk for somebody that you don't talk to? Oh. How can you talk for somebody that you never talk to? My God. How can you talk for God and you ain't talked to God in a month? Come on. Jesus. God's mouth is too big to talk to one person. But I'm convinced of this. That we are about to see some pulling down. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. We are about to see a We are about to see a stripping and a changing. And now watch this. You know, everybody wants to say changing of the gods and changing of the gods. Listen to me. Let me help you. It's not no longer a changing of the gods. It's a changing of the garments. Whoa. Changing of the guards is so traditional, but God is saying, now I'm changing the garment. He said, because many of you, your heart, your garments are dirty, your garments are polluted, your garments are stained. And so God said, now before I change the guards, I need to change your garments. And then when I get done changing your garments, I can put the guards back on post. The problem is, Apostle told me that the guards have fell asleep. You know how when you go to England, you can't get into the, 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 the palace until you go by the guards. And you never know. If the gods are awake, because why? They're standing in one position with their eyes open and they ain't moving. Because why? If you trust them, that's when you will see the gods wake up. God is asking tonight, what are the gods and what are the protectors? Who are those that are going to be defenders of the name? Can I help you? No, she and I. God is saying tonight, I'm raising up some new defenders of the name. Yeah, the gatekeeper. Come on, come on. Watch this. Watch this. God said he's raising up. The defenders. Yeah. Oh. So good. So good. The defenders of the name. Yes, God. Now, 
I'm not talking about a defender of the denomination. Whoa. <laughs> I, I'm talking about a defender of the name. Yeah. Can I tell you what I mean? And God has given him a name. Which is above. Which is, come on, help me preach it. Yes, sir. Which is above every name. Yeah. yeah. That at the name of Jesus. Jesus. Okay, I thought I had somebody in here that loved his name. Yeah. That at the name of Jesus, Jesus. every knee should yeah. bow, every tongue yeah. shall confess. I don't care if you're a Buddhist, if you are a Confucius, if you are Muhammad, baby, at the name of Jesus, you still got to bow. I, that's how I got it. I got down on my knees and I called on his name. Y'all want the instance of the baby? You got to work for it. Is there anybody? God, I feel a preach coming on here. Is there anybody here you can lift your hands and testify that I got it by calling on his name? A lot of y'all got it the old way. You get a preach in your hand and God's your heart. But that didn't work. Acts 2 for the ancient. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father in the name, Son in the name, Holy Ghost in the name. Those are titles. But Jesus is his name. Is there anybody here you can lift your hands and testify tonight? Since I got his name, right. yes, sir. All right. I got his nature. Oh, my Woo. God. oh my God, yes, God. Okay, I hear that. Uh -oh. Since I got his name, Come on. I gotta stop somewhere. I got his nature. Yes, yes sir. So watch this. Sex says, say we go have an arm. Such I have. Give up the name just cut another one. Right? Watch this. Verse number eleven. And and as the lame man which was healed held Peter and John. All the people ran together unto them in the porch that is called Solomon's greatly wondering. Watch this. Now it's three of them. The lame man, Peter, and John. Come on. They are an example that a threefold cord is not easily broken. When you get delivered, you better watch out for folk that switch up on you. Whoa. Can I preach? Yeah. You better watch out for folks who switch up on you when you delivered. Because watch this, when you were going through, they had everything to say. They was able to talk to you. They was able to ride with you. They was able to support your habit. Come on here. When you wanted to smuggle a dope, they was able to help you. When you wanted to turn up on the hidden bottle, they was able to help you. When you want to go to the club and the freak meet, y'all ain't saying that. Y'all ain't say no. You're like, when you want to do all that stuff right there, they were able to do it with you. But yet, when you got delivered, they, they ain't want to have nothing to do with you. They deleted you on Facebook. They did all that. But guess what? Who I was after my deliverance is who I'm still going to be. Because guess what? You mess around and hang around me. You going to get delivered too. Because why? I am a deliverer. Here it is. Yes, God. So good. Yes, God. Many people we miss it because we think yes, God. that deliverance is about speaking up, right. purging. Uh -huh. You gotta talk flow. about it. Come on, Baby, that ain't deliverance. Come on. Sometimes uh, I may get in trouble. No, you ain't. That's demons that are fooling you to thinking that they are delivered so you can get away from them. But can I tell you something here tonight? Deliverance is confession. Y'all ain't saying that. But thou shalt confess with thy mouth. Can I help you? Now they kushi under the Mahatai. Zander makatusha. Mati anna makusha. I feel this power here tonight. You gotta know how to confess that you're wounded, hurted, and you're broken. And I need a therapist. Oh. Come on. Oh, come on. The, the assignment tonight is for those that say, listen, I need to be properly positioned. Yes, yeah, it. Because truth be told, many of you have been out of position for too long. Too long. Too long. And God is saying tonight, I need to position you, watch this, for the poor. Oh, my God. So I need to position you for the poor. Yeah. Truth be told, many of us say, Lord, give me fresh oil, give me fresh oil. God is saying, I'm trying to give it to you, but you're not in position. Oh, my God. You yeah, want yeah. Bible to back it up? Yeah. Look at David in 1 Samuel chapter 16. All them brothers went before the prophet, mm -hmm. and the oil did not fall. <laughs> they looked like the king, talked like the king, 
had the body of the king but was not the king. But it took on messed up David, the one that slept with another man's wife, had her husband on the front line to get killed. It was him that said, listen, Lord, I I don't know what's going on upstairs, but Lord, listen, I'm going to do what my father told me to do. A lot of people are jealous of you because you did what your father told you to do. Because you waited your time and your turn. I need to talk to somebody here tonight. You can be honest and testify that I waited my time and my turn. I wasn't jealous of nobody. I wasn't hating on nobody. I didn't throw no shit shade at nobody. But I celebrated with them even when I know they weren't going to celebrate with me. My God. Oh, well, my God. Well, you gotta teach them that Show. Well, my God. Go. Show the Bible. Yes, the Bible. when David my God. came before the prophet. All right, take, take your prophet. time. Take your time, prophet. Take your time. Take Bible your time. Says, take your time. <laughs> take your time. That the oil <laughs> immediately <laughs> failed. <laughs> and the Bible says. That the Spirit of the Lord <laughs> came upon David from that day forward. Yes, so the Lord said tonight, down, I need to do an oil change. Uh -oh. <laughs> he said tonight that I need to do an oil check. When was the last time that you said, Lord, I need an oil change. I got to get out of here tonight. But if the truth of the matter will be told, a lot of you are operating in expired oil. I told you tonight that my subject is allow me to reintroduce myself. And so if you don't mind tonight, as I get ready to get out of here, allow me tonight to reintroduce myself, not just for myself, but for all of us. Can I help you here tonight? Because all of us have taken on a new identity. And is there anybody in this room tonight? You can lift your hands and testify that I am no longer my own, but I've been bought with a price. Is there anybody in this room? Preach what you can lift your hands and testify tonight that my name has been changed. Is there anybody in this room tonight? You can lift those hands and testify that I've been beaten, I've been bruised. I wish I had some oil. Yes, Lord. I've been beaten. I've been bruised. I've been broken from the oil to flow. I know your name is not Olive, but you got your own name. And the reason why you got oil is because you've been beaten. And you've been broken But is there anybody here You don't mind tonight Testifying That after all I've been through I still Got my joy Since this passion week Jesus Reintroduced himself 2,000 years ago On a hill called Calvary They hung him high Stretched him wide Is there anybody 
are you here? You can lift your hands and testify. I've been and grief of my lady I even curse the spirit of perversion from your daddy's side. In the name of Jesus, I curse it by the power of the Holy Ghost. And I command the Holy Ghost to stir up on the inside of you. Shaka Mekusha. I curse every demon on the Oshaya that's even coming in your bedroom. I curse it by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. And it is so. In Jesus. Facebook, you still, listen, if y'all want to show the cash app is dollar sign. TJ Ross 84. Yeah, TJ Ross 84. She's going to put it in the comments. God bless y'all. Thank y'all for joining. Peace. Amen. Just finish. Amen.